A 19th century stagecoach pulled by four magnificent greys approaches through the early morning mist. Not for Ben Ford the chaos and frustration of 20th century traffic. Mr. Ford, former regimental sergeant major in the Royal Horse Artillery, has spent his life with horses. The internal combustion engine leaves him cold. His home at Stroud in Gloucestershire contains a library and models reflecting his great interest. And his museum has a superb collection from the golden days of horse-drawn transport. It's 30 or more carriages, including a Victorian hearse, drays and hay wains, have all been restored to their original condition. The task of restoration is always in progress. Here Mr. Ford helps a carpenter at work on a state coach, completed in 1843 for the Spanish ambassador to Britain. It is thought to have made many journeys between London and Madrid. This rotting ruin was once an elegant Lando. It was found abandoned in the corner of a barn near Cardiff. After months of painstaking work, it looks as good, if not better, than new. Upholsterer Mr. John Hemming puts the final touches to the carriage, which can now be hired for weddings and other special occasions. Stagecoach, 132 years old and used on the Cardiff-London route, is perhaps Mr. Ford's favourite possession. He is also very fond of this broom, once used by a well-known Cotswold family. The harness room is a treasure house. One gleaming set alone is valued at a thousand pounds and there are many to admire. Cleaning it all is readily undertaken by young pupils of Mr. Ford's riding school. Being a practical man, Mr. Ford puts his possessions to good use whenever possible. There's excitement in the frosty air as preparations get underway for the annual Boxing Day drive. It's a fine way of shaking off the effects of overindulgence on Christmas Day, and many people turn out, not only to take part, but also to watch the procession pass. This year, Mr. Ford has decided to drive the red and black stagecoach to Stonehouse, three miles away. Drivers and passengers will wear a costume of the 1830s to give the occasion an authentic atmosphere. There are many willing hands to make sure that everything is ready for the off. of the reins brings an instant response from the four Dutch Gelderlands and away they go. 
89-year-old Frank Ford, for whom the drive is the highlight of the year, sits beside his son. The front horses are called Pride and Joy, and at the rear are Glory and Beauty. Each has been trained for a position in the team and would not work as well if moved elsewhere. Mr. Ford has plans to import another team from Holland in the near future. Following the coach are young outriders from Mr. Ford's riding school and a green and cream rally car driven by Mr. Reg Davis, the well-known horseman. Finally comes the broom with Miss Iris Bartlett, Mr. Ford's first driving pupil at the reins. the procession makes a short stop at the Coach and Horses Inn situated in the village of Ebley. Although a steady pace is being maintained, there is no fear of infringing this sign. As the procession reaches its destination, the travellers leave the coach for some traditional liquid refreshment. Mr. Ford's niece, Maria, keeps a watchful eye on the steaming horses, while Mr. Ford Sr. stays put and enjoys a smoke. A journey of yesteryear is over. The coach is back in the museum and the horses have been returned to their stables. And with a living to earn, even Ben Ford has to acknowledge that the motor vehicle has superseded the horse in this 20th century. <laughs>